So I am using the Desperado transfer. And with the tile, there are five by seven wood gallery blanks. If this is your first time watching, right here. There are so many elements I could use. Um, not a lot that you're going to get the entire picture of. But, but if you remember the tile that I did with all the mold strips, that's my inspiration for today. You get two of these sheets in Desperado, and this is what I'm using. Okay, so this is how I always start. Five by seven wood gallery blank. I'm using the paint culture embossing medium and just an old, I don't even know what card this is. And then I just scrape it along the top just to give it the look of cement. And I always start the same way. Run it along the sides a little bit. So I've got, I've got that, there's a couple of stripes on here I don't like. I don't like anything to be real linear. So I'm just going to smooth that out a little bit. And the other thing you can do, you can just take your card and do that and add some texture. That's kind of cool. I like that a lot. And then I paint them in a base of beadboard. It's just a bright white, and I do it the same way every time. Those steps are always identical. So then I decided what I'm gonna do is put this on an angle, which is why I have the size section cut that I do. And I wanna go from the corner to the other corner. And that's what I'm going to end up doing. They're not so I'm going to remove the paper backing. It's had plenty of time to cool off. And now you get to see really well what the design's going to be. And I can look and see what the angle is going to be. I don't want any of the molds to go corner to corner. So just like when I did the trimmings mold, I paid attention to that. So I think that's going to be it right there. So get it on here. I don't want this to overlap my sides at all. Because... Go. So I'm just going to make sure it's burnished on well. And that's really cool for sure, but I want to add some molds. So these are all from Classic Elements. I made one really long because I figured Going corner to corner, I was going to need it longer. And then one's going to go right here. I'm going to need a piece for that. A section's going to go right there. And then we're going to put a little piece. So I'm going to start trimming it here. So I'm going to cut that end as well but right now I'm just going to cut that
the other thing that I think would be cool would be to add, let me think here. Hold on one second. I've got Redow 2. Oops. Um, you'll have to ignore the pieces that went over the top. I think we might do this. I think this might be pretty cool to add that. Just this little, we're going to, we're going to do this. This is an element from Redow 2 that I'm going to add. You have to ignore that part right there because that's just where transfer went. And I don't want it, I want it to go off of, so I'm going to have it, it's going to go off that one edge, but that's all right. Going transfer over transfer is harder than harder than you would think. I mean, they stick, but they need a little bit of persuading. Sometimes it's easier to just use your finger. Uh, let me cut this. See if I can cut this. There we go. And I can sand that a little bit if I want. And believe it or not, I am not adding anything else. Okay, so now I have to trim some things up. Let me go back here. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to seal everything, and I'm getting big tap on everything so that I can wipe back the trim and that um, I get a clean edge against the transfer, too. This has to dry. I'm going to hit it with um, my heat gun. I'm going to use the same black I always do, which is black velvet. It's the mellower of the two blacks. Now I'm going to paint the, even though I would really want to use a much bigger brush for this.
I, you know, could I wipe back more is what I'm trying to think about. Like, how much of that white do I want coming through? And I think I want more coming through. Oh, I'm really starting to think here about dark and decrepit. It's only paint, right? Okay. Here's D&D. &D. And I'm going to do... I'm warming this up a little bit. I said I wasn't going to. So dark and decrepit. Because I have so much seal around here, I don't have to be careful. Get some down there. Sometimes you just gotta go with your gut, right? Get this corner, this edge. Mm, oops, wrong color. All right, let's see what happens with that. Um, let me see here. I think I'm going to run it. Look at me just totally, totally switching it up here. Just kind of really a dry brush. All right. Pulling it off the centers, mostly. Leaving it a little bit heavier around the outside. I like that. I like, I think it made such a difference, you guys, and I'm, I'm really shocked, I gotta tell ya. So here's the black chiffon now. Because I love them together. And you know, I can't resist to finger paint. My clay's not real dry yet. So I'm just feathering that in there. It's still black and white. It's just aged black and white now crazy times of things we won't like is I you know what I absolutely agree with you I think it was going to be this modern tile and it's not and then I was like okay it's like trimming the trimmings one but it's not so I really like it and I'll hold it up so that you guys can see it better. It still needs to be sealed. You know, I am a little tempted to try and pull just a little more of that white through in some spots. There we go. Thank you. I, I think 
This made like all the difference. It's just that little rose from Redow. Isn't that crazy? Does need to be sealed. So here is the tile. That's it. Thanks, you guys, for being here. I appreciate you. Crazy, right? Totally different direction. Okay, so that's it for me. Um